Hey guys, it's Fred here at The Paper Tiger, and this is video number two of the series, Getting Started with The Paper Tiger Software. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can file a document, how you can retrieve that document, and also how you can transfer the document from location to location. In this video, I'm gonna be using the sample database, uh, and just let you know, the sample database does come included in every installation of The Paper Tiger. Uh, if you wanna look for it, you can go to File, open paper tiger database and just select the sample database from there and you'll be presented with all this information the sample data is just nice to see um, you know a, a set up filing system so that you can kind of have a, an example of, uh, of how things look once everything's set up okay so let's get started filing a document for, in this case I pulled up the installation instructions for paper tiger 4.1 network edition this is, I'm just showing you this in a digital form just because it's the easiest way for me to present you this information. Just pretend this is a paper document uh, that you might have sitting in, on your desk. Okay, so let's get started filing this document. Before, uh, before we file it, we need to make the decision of where we want to file this document. If you remember from the previous video, in the first database we created, we had two locations, one for action and another one for a reference location. In this case, I'm gonna go ahead and put this item in my action location since I feel like I should be referring to this uh, in a pretty constant manner. So in order to do that, let's go ahead and select the action location and that way that location is going to be the one that we choose to file this document. Okay, so in order to file a document, go ahead and hit the new button um, up at the top of the menu here. Now you're going to be presented with the item wizard and this is going to help you uh, take a step-by-step -step guide to file the, the document that we're, that we're trying to locate. Okay, so here's the document. It's called Taming the Paper Tiger 4.1 blah blah blah. Okay, so let's let's pick a name for this document. We can call it Okay. And the name of the document should be specific to the document that you're trying to find, but remember that the uh, the power paper tiger lies not only in being able to pick a name for the document, but also in the keywords that we're going to be able to use to describe the document, which we'll do in a second. Okay, so once you've got the name um, in the box, go ahead and hit next. And this is where you're gonna be presented with uh, the keyword input box. And keywords are uh, a great part of Paper Tiger, and they really allow you to describe a document in as many ways as you can in order for you to be able to retrieve that document later. So let's come up with some keywords. And remember, keywords are just uh, short, basic terms that describe the, the document uh, accurately. For example, we can safely assume that this document here is an installation document. It rega it's regarding Paper Tiger 4.1 Network Edition. All those are great keywords to be able to identify this document. So let's go ahead and start typing. Okay, so I've put in about six keywords in here, and all these describe the document uh, pretty specifically. With these keywords, I'm going to be able to search for any one of those terms later, and Paper Tiger will go ahead and find that for me. This is the beauty of Paper Tiger. Uh, instead of the traditional filing method that only limits you to what you can fit in the uh, in the file folder tab, Paper Tiger allows you to have a basically unlimited number of keywords that you can choose to describe a document so that you can find it easily whenever you think of something um, as far as the document goes. So once you've got your keywords put in, go ahead and hit next. Let's not worry about the category right now. We'll, we'll speak about the categories in a later video. Same thing with the action date. Let's not worry about the action date right now. And once you're done, we'll, um, you'll be presented with a summary screen. Now pay attention to this. Paper Tiger has already decided where this paper is going to be filed. If you remember in the previous video, we went ahead and set up our locations and we had 40 folders in each one of those locations. In this case, Paper Tiger has decided um, it's found the first open spot in my action location, which is folder number two. So that's very important once you went ahead and added the the item, Paper Tiger's already decided where it's gonna go and all you have to do is take that piece of paper and put it in that folder. So pay attention to that, location number, uh, action number two. Again, the name that we typed in and the keywords. And now let's go ahead and put in some verbal notes for this document. 
Um, again, the notes are something to describe this document verbally instead of just using keywords. You can leave yourself a quick little note um, to remind you what this document's about. Keep in mind the Paper Tiger will search within the notes section also, so if you put any important terms in here, Paper Tiger will find it as well. Remember, the notes are not required. Uh, you can put them in there if you'd like. So let's go ahead and put in a note. Okay, so now that I went ahead and put in my note, I'm going to go ahead and hit save and close. And now if you notice, if we're in the, we can go back to our location, to our action location, you will see that the paper tiger has filled in uh, the information for the action location um, folder number two. So now all that's left to do on your part is now that you've filed the, the document electronically, now you actually have to file it physically. All you gotta do is grab that sheet of paper, open up the location, find the folder number two, and slide that sheet of paper in there. Okay, so now that we filed something, let's go ahead and search for it. The beauty of Paper Tiger is that it's not a filing system, Paper Tiger is a finding system. So let's go ahead and type in, let's pretend we're, uh, we're looking for this document and we say, hmm, I remember this is the installation document. Let's look for instructions. There you go. As you can see, instructions was one of the keywords and it was also in the item name. So Paper Tiger went ahead and found um, that file and we can see that it's in location, um, the action location in the folder number two. So now that if we want to retrieve that file, all we got to do is just go to our action location and look up folder number two and the paper should be there as long as you put it there. You got to make sure that um, everything you file, you want to you go ahead and follow up with to make sure that um, you know, your filing cabinet reflects what Paper Tiger actually does. Okay, so now that we've filed something, we've also retrieved it, we've learned how to, how to find um, the document that we're trying to look for, let's go ahead and transfer it. So let's go ahead and take this item, the one we just filed, and we're gonna transfer it. We're gonna transfer it from location action number two, and we're gonna transfer it somewhere else. So in order to do that, let's go ahead and select it. You can select the item by clicking this um, arrow on the left side, and you'll see the item has been entirely highlighted. Once you've done that, go ahead and click on the transfer button. Now there are three types of transfers. There is a move transfer when you want to move a document from a location to another location. There's a merge uh, transfer, means that you can um, take one document and merge it with another document. And there's a duplicate where you can um, you can duplicate a file if you if you have more than one of the same thing and you want to duplicate that easily without having to type those things over and over. So in this case, we want to do a move transfer. Go ahead and select the move, um, the move option and hit next. New location, let's go ahead and pick where we want to have, uh, where we want to transfer this item to. I think archives looks good, so pick the location that you want, in this case archives. Go ahead and hit next. Let's not worry about the action date. And this box is very important and it says require confirmation. Watch what happens next. Go ahead and hit next. It'll give you a summary. Remember, require confirmation is very important. And go ahead and hit transfer. Okay? Now Paper Tiger will prompt you and says successfully transferred action number two, which was um, where the old document was, to archives number 11. Okay? So let's go ahead and hit okay. The window will now close. And now you're not done yet. You've transferred, you be, you, you've basically begun the transfer, but you still haven't actually done the physical transfer of the document. You've done the digital one, meaning you've transferred locations within Paper Tiger. Now you actually need to get up and move the document from place to place. What happened now was that Paper Tiger created um, the, uh, in archives number 11, it created the, um, the document in here, but you can see that it's move in pending. And in the old location, action number two, it says move out pending. So these files are locked, and until you actually confirm the transfer, the two of them are gonna come up at the same time. So let's go ahead and confirm the transfer. If you go to the confirm button up at the top, you're gonna see this is a move transfer, and it tells you the item name, the new location, and the old location. Okay, so you say, You've already moved the piece of paper physically, great. Go ahead and hit the confirm button. You can just check that box and you're done. Now, you've, now you're finally done transferring the document and now as you can see um, in our search, action number two is no longer here because there is not a document in that location anymore, in that folder. And instead, 
um, archives number 11 comes up here and it'll show the document information um, that we just filed in this case uh, the paper tiger installation instructions and it'll show the status in use I hope you found this video helpful and uh, until next time we'll see you later